frog spawn in here. Interesting. Right where the wild boy normally um, roll around in the mud, in their wallow, we have a lot of frog spawn. So we've had water here for the for the last month or more, uh, and now the frogs are uh, laying their their eggs in the in the remaining water. Uh, all of this goes bone dry over summer, um, so it'll be interesting to see. But it looks like we're going to have a, a lot of frogs in this area very soon. Okay, camera seven. Let's have a look. right over the over the wallow here. So let's have a look what we have. We have all batteries in here. I don't have any spares in here. Yeah, I am looking to uh, change them for Duracell or something. Duracell lasts a long time, the last months, but uh, these cheap batteries. Let's have a look what we have. We have a heron walking in the water here. Um, downstream from the other camera where all the uh, frog spawn was. So obviously there are a lot of frogs and frog spawn that this, these birds are, are feeding on. Let's have a look. That's quite, that's quite nice. So we've got, yeah, definitely a, looks like a heron. I'll check when I get back. Nice. And a heron last night. Ah, we have a we have a male with the with the antlers, and he's walking right past the camera. Interesting. He normally has a. I saw him a few weeks ago, and he has a. Um, in fact, I saw him last week. He has his female that he's always with, but he also had a young um, fawn. Um, so there was the female, the fawn, and him together, the three of them. Or at least that's what I thought I saw through the thermal imaging camera. Let's quick, let's carry on, because I have to get a move on this lunchtime. Um, let's pause that. Uh, okay, we've got loads of black, which means there's no uh, thermal uh, or IR backlight lighting coming from this thing. So I don't know if it's the camera or whether the batteries are duff. I have some cheap cameras in, uh, cheap batteries in here. Um, I want to replace them with Duracell because I think when the batteries get low, these things misbehave. Um, anyway, let's keep going and see if we have anything else. Aha! We have three wild ball. In January, it looks like. Uh, 
are passing through. So they're walking in this general direction. Oh, my legs are aching. Yeah, nice. So here is the, the wallow. There are plenty of new fresh footprints, uh, footprints all around the water here. There was animals here last night. It's fresh. It's turned over. Looks like it's freshly ploughed. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. There's a bit of everything in here. Okay, so we have one camera here next to where the camera is. And it's covering this area here. And we have this trail cam here, which is camera number two. And that's covering directly over where the wild boar were on New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Okay, so let's have a look at the camera. Let's see if we captured anything that one did. And then we have a, a cross-reference. Ah, this, this is a bit loose. It's as if something's been rubbing on it. There's mud on the on the camera. There's mud all over the lens. That's great. We've got some sweaty boar wiping its uh, scratching its body on the camera. That's why it's all loose. Look how saggy it is. There was a piece of wood behind it, but it's obviously removed it. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look. So, oh, there's a bird. There's a bird bathing in the water here. I think I'll skip that. Same again. Uh, it appears to be another bird. Let's keep going. <laughs> He's sniffing the camera. That's probably where all the mud came from. Oh, he's big. Or she. Can't tell from here. That looks like a male. Oh, we can check when we get back. That's good. That's funny. Right. Oh, that's nice. 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, and the camera's not pointing down far enough. Shame. Nice. Close up. And then me. Okay, that's good. We've got This card has no number, so I have to remember this. And I'm taking out, so from camera two, I'm taking out, I'm taking out the gold, and I'm placing in the silver no number card. I don't have a pen on me, otherwise I would number it. So I have two twos. I'll sort that out later. Right, let's enable the camera and adjust the strap. Let's, uh, let's adjust the strap. I'm going to lose my glasses. So it's not angled down so far, but it's, it's looking out straight so we get a better perspective. Okay, let's see. That'll do for today. I've got the SIM card. It has new batteries. Let's come back later.
which are trees blown down in the last storm. Usually when the ground is incredibly wet, um, there's been a lot of rain and then we have a storm coming through the forest. Usually find a lot of trees blown down. Now you can see here that this tree originally went, followed by the one next to it, which then struck another tree here. Uh, and then another one. So there's at least four or five trees in a line here that have fallen with the with the last storm. <laughs> 